Hello, and welcome back to episode two of us playing Forager. We have got some work to do. I might fast forward this a little bit, and then uh, we'll we'll find some more puzzles to work on. So, yeah, we definitely have some work to do because we need some money so we can buy more land, and we need to upgrade our weapons, and we need to build more buildings. Let's clear some of this out of the way. I want to get our sewing station built because there's a bunch of stuff that we can make with that and start upgrading our gear. So we can't even dig right now. You can see that there's probably something to dig up here, but we haven't been able to... Actually, I should check and see if I can build or make my shovel yet. There's a ruby hanging out there. No, we haven't learned how to do that yet. But we can make some coins. <laughs> Not very many coins right now. We need to get some more things rolling over here. We don't have very much gold or yet. The quicker that you can improve your gear, it definitely is helpful. So we want to do that as best that we can, as quickly as we can. Let's grab our new backpack. Yay, for more inventory slots. There's some hide. Well, we can't actually make the leather yet. Ooh, yay! Leveling up, always helpful. All right, let's take a look at the skills and decide what we want to go with here. Makes more coins every time. This unlocks leather. I feel like we need more money. But I also want to upgrade my bags again right away. So we're going to go with this one so we can unlock that leather. So the more that I've played, it doesn't really seem like it matters a ton about which skills you pick when, though I haven't really like sat and tried to figure out what is going to be the fastest route <laughs> through everything. There are certainly some skills that I feel are a little bit more helpful to grab ASAP, but you also have to unlock more skills depending on which ones you grab. And so it's just kind of this balance. In the beginning, I... oops do a lot of fish traps, but then later on I don't use them as much because I end up finding different ways to gather sand and I have other food options once I unlock the cooking pot. But in the beginning it's super helpful to have these fish traps. I'm so glad that you guys found it helpful for me to go through the rainbow puzzle and I hope that you find the rest of our puzzle walkthroughs helpful as well. I'll keep working on them. Some of you may have played ahead of where we're at right now, which is totally fine, but I hope that these are helpful for you. If there's a particular puzzle that you are having trouble with right now, or maybe one that you really like, do you have like a favorite puzzle so far? Let me know in the comments because I, if you need some help with one, I want to make sure that we do a video for that. But then I also want to know what you guys are liking for the puzzles. All right. What was the other one we were looking at? We want this to make more coins every time. Okay, so then I unlock trade so we can, we can build a market and banks. This is definitely what I wanted. I suppose if I would have grabbed st the storage, it would have unlocked that. But for now, the forge is how we make coins. But then once we can build a bank, those make coins. And then we can make our slimy pickaxe. So every time you upgrade your weapon, it has all the powers or, you know, additional things that your previous one had and then adds like adds to it. So it's not like you have to switch between them. You just automatically use the next one. This one builds pretty fast. So I'm gonna let that build before I go to buy land. There it is. So it increases our damage, which is definitely helpful so that we can take things down faster. All right, we have enough money to buy some more land, so let's buy this little piece of land here and go check 
that out. And then we're gonna build a bridge across right away. All right, so I saw a boar. He's hiding somewhere. Where'd he go? Where's the cow? Where's the boar? There he is. He gives you more... Well, I don't think that one gave more hide than the cow, necessarily. He does sometimes, though. <laughs> but he will come after you and attack you. So, whereas the cow, you know, she's chill. She won't bother you. And then we'll go inside this place in a moment so you can check that out and I can show you what you need to do in there. I wish like it would tell you what places are when you hover over them. I know what it is because I've done this one in my other game. But this is kind of, it's kind of like a museum. So you're going to be doing some collection stuff here. So they say, welcome to the museum. Our collections are rather incomplete at the moment. Feel free to help me fill the bundles. You will get a reward for each one completed. And a super special reward if you can complete them all. So there are all kinds of things to do with the trapping that is catching bugs and fairies in bottles, there's different cooking ones, alchemy, archaeology, building, mining, farming, and foraging. And I don't think we have enough of anything really. No, because you, you need 50 of almost everything uh, for this part. You don't have to collect 50 of absolutely everything in this place. And so in the beginning, like right now, it's kind of a lot because you, you aren't able to gather up resources super fast yet and you need resources for doing things, but it's fun to start collecting them. Uh, but like over here, like in building, some of these things you only need five of because these are a little bit more resource intensive. This is plastic, this is electronics, and I think this was fiberglass. I think that's what that is. And it's the same with the alchemy, like it's, except for the health potions, five, the rest of them, it's only one. I do wish that when you hover over this, it would tell you which one it is, even though, you know, you'll be able to match it up with the icons that you get, but it would be nice if it just said what it was, like, especially like the scroll. I didn't know what that was supposed to be, but now that I have an inscription table, I know what the different scrolls are. I know this is a wizard scroll. So we'll want to start collecting those so that we can get awesome goodies. Every time you complete a bundle, you get a chest. And then I haven't completely finished the collection on my main game yet. So I don't know what the super special reward is yet. So we'll have to see. I started the collections pretty quick. I didn't wait until I got super far to do them just because it is helpful to get those chests along the way. But like right now, it's a little difficult to gather up 50 things from foraging and give them up if they're items that you need for upgrading or for building. Just kind of like slowly working at it was really helpful. And then of course, getting those bonuses. I also figured out, in case you haven't noticed this yet, you don't have to actually walk over the stuff to collect it, and you don't have to be right next to it, as long as your little cursor goes over it. So like, those ones, I'm able to like, retrieve it, this poop over there, <laughs> you're able to get it. So that can be helpful. All right, we have enough money to buy some more land. So we're gonna buy this land down here. And now we have an achievement, because we own five lands. And right away, I want to build my bridge so I can get across over here. I'll probably want to run down there. So we're going to want to go check that out. This also has opened up fairies. So if you hit E, 
you get experience points when you catch a fairy. Okay, I want to make sure I unlock banks now. Because that'll make the money come a whole lot faster. Get some, get some experience points from these fairies. Super sweet of them to help us out. And whenever we make some bottles, you can catch them. And then use them at a later time for experience. And then there's also, I'm trying to remember if it was inscriptions or potions. There are some things later that you have to catch them for. And in the museum, they would like you to catch, I think it's five of them. Starting land gets very crowded quickly with all the things that you can build. And I want to try to make it a little bit more organized right from the start this time. Which may or may not happen. Alright, got some more inventory spots. Oh, I need to show you guys. It's nighttime now. The, the fairies here, or the... Whatever. <laughs> the fairy queen, maybe? Uh -huh. She says, sweet child. I am... Oh, <laughs> I am exhausted. She's not. <laughs> Let my fairies rest your weary body. I need to ask you for a very small donation. I will reward you with the power of my fairies. May light shine on your quest. So she says small donation. Her idea of small is a thousand. In the very beginning, that's not quite a small amount. Later on, it's certainly is very doable. Well, it's doable now too, but later on a thousand doesn't doesn't seem like a whole lot to pull together. She only appears during the during nighttime though. During the day she is not in this pool. I'm gonna make another furnace over here. Yeah, that's helpful for us to get another skill point. What do I want to do with that right now? Let's unlock the shovel right now. You can dig up dirt. You can find things, you can plant crops. Okay, so now that I have more than one piece of gear, it shows up down here. So you can either scroll with your mouse scroll button, or the axe is one, the shovel is two. There, I dug up some bones. That's something that we're gonna need. There's a little bit of money. Need some more gold so that we can build this bank. All right, let's build our first bank. Ta-da! All right, let's see what skill we should go with this time. I'm gonna go with wood cutting right now. Trees drop more, and you're always needing the wood for making coal and then for bridges. Yeah, let's build our windmill. This just seems kind of in the middle of everything, doesn't it? Yeah, that works. All right, so with this now, you can make seeds I haven't really done a whole lot with the planting and stuff because it takes three of them to make four seeds that you can plant. I just, I haven't really found it super helpful to create seeds and plant them because there's just not enough return, in my opinion, on taking three to turn it into four. But you can also make animal feed. And so when you feed the animals, it make it, they give you more resources. So like the chickens will produce more eggs and it can, it, it can help create a golden egg. And then now we can turn the wheat into flour, which will allow us to bake bread using the furnace. All right, this increases our damage a lot. And then we get more bones when we kill skeletons, which we haven't unlocked the land with them yet, but 
obviously that will come in handy. I'm gonna go in here and because right now we can't sell things that are taking up space in our inventory. So I'm gonna come in here so that I can at least make use of some of this stuff and not just delete it. We're really close to having enough flowers. We're gonna go ahead and put those in there. I know it's just one, but I'm gonna put that little cotton in there. These oranges. We got a lot of berries we can stick in there. Over into farm. We can put these eggs. This little bit of wheat. These beets. The cotton. You will get lots of it. There's just tons of it. But you actually have to collect 154 in the farming area and 50 in foraging. The rocks drop more minerals. Oh, and that unlocks prospecting. So they'll have a higher chance of dropping gems and then a higher chance of finding the, the rare items when digging. So I think those would be like the treasures and stuff. Let's build another bank and speed up our money making here. We also made our small wallet, so the coins are worth even more. Okay, we have enough money to buy some more land, and I'm hoping that it's... Oh wait, there's one there, the 270 and the 280. Ah, which one should I build? Because I don't know for sure what's going to generate there. We're going to do this one. Hey! And it's the pillar puzzle. Okay. Perfect, because I wanted to show you guys that one. And we don't have to build a bridge across, because this one just connected the land. Let's get rid of the slime guys. I'm gonna take this one. Okay, so we are gonna do the pillar puzzle. This is the grassland with the pillars and you want to pay attention to what those little marks on there so that you can hit them in the right order. Overall, it's a easy puzzle, but if you aren't sure what you're supposed to be doing, then it can take some trial and error. So really, it's just the numbers in order. They look like they have a certain number of things on there. So you hit the one. This one. Well, ah. Once we get rid of the slime, two, three, and four. And, oh, that's right. I need a key. And we have a top hat. Now coins are worth more. And that's great that we have those things that have increased our coins, the, the wallet upgrade, this hat, and we've got a couple of banks. All right, so we are gonna stop here today and take a break. <laughs> I probably will have to just do some clearing and resource collecting before we tackle the any future puzzles. And I hope that you have found this helpful and if you haven't done this rainbow puzzle yet, I have a video showing you how to do the rainbow puzzle and get the chest from over here. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you think this would be helpful for somebody else, definitely make sure to share it. And we will see you at the next game.